Good morning. Right, we have to go down to the local feed store to get some chicken food. Let's take a run down to the feed store. See where we go from here then. Avoid one of the neighbours. They're all kicking off at me because uh, I haven't fed them yet this morning. I'm just going to go and um, take batter and go get some uh, feed out at back at the car. We've just been to the feed shop. We'll just edit out my bad driving, eh? Hey. Right, let's get this seed into But we've all got one, haven't we? <laughs> Sharp knife. We've all got one. Right, that's the corn almost mixed. I'm going to clean ferrets out here and uh, Chris from Homestead in the Hardway, he just wanted to know a little bit more about my little, my little ferret in its little hole, well, free tier run. We'll get her out a second and we'll, uh, we'll show her. <laughs> get off. Right, this is Stumpy. She's um, a full size ferret, female ferret. She's a lovely little girl. A bit excited at the minute to be out. I have a clean out cage, I call it. Put her in there so I can uh, keep an eye on her while I clean it out. This is um, an old chinchilla cage that I, um, I got from a friend. So um, I'll just leave you there while I uh, clean out a second. Obviously, it's not the nicest of jobs. Because you've seen before, it was full of stuff. And now it's all about a nice and easy. Now I just need to do the same to the top compartment. I don't know if you guys get this stuff, but um, it's like a disinfectant um, antibacterial this stuff. I swear by it, it's, it's good for inside it smell at, well, smell at ferrets, really. I'll, uh, I'll show you. 
Right, I've got a little shot glass here, and all you do is just sprinkle it round like this. You know what I mean? So if you just keep up to it and keep on top of it. If you're cleaning animals and all, it's good to get the proper equipment and all, because it just makes life so much easier as well. We're gonna sit, imagine using that to try and clean these out. Impossible, impossible. I put it on stumpy cam. Another good tip is get some good sawdust, good quality sawdust. Some good quality sawdust. That'll absorb stuff. It's, it's good for ferrets. Um, some people don't like it. Some people swear not to use it, but I've always used it. Um, my granddad always used straw, to be fair. Back in his day, there were only um, straw or hay available, and he used to use hay as bedding and straw as for number two pooing. Stick bedding. All it needs to be is uh, a centimetre or so thick all over, and she's happy then. She's happy. Maybe a bit more in corners where they um, do the business. Because you'll find they tend to do it in one place normally, not all over. They're pretty clean creatures, really. Um, I suppose it's like oat. If you leave oat to go funny, it'll start to smell, I suppose. If you leave oat, leave oat long enough, it stinks, doesn't it? But yeah, I can't stress enough how much hygiene, like... It, hygiene with an animal that's confined to a box most of its life is uh, second to none, really, because you've got to keep on top of that stuff because you can't let the stuff pile up if you understand what I mean. Where would we be without a trusty knife? Eh? Is that so? Uh, it's loosen it up a bit for that so she can get in it. All right, now well, she'll make a bedding in there now. That's a feed hall, that's where I, this is where I feed her in the bottom compartment, and this is where she sleeps up here in this bit. You get to feeding her, bless her. Right, another tip for you about ferrets, you can't feed them solely on biscuits, even solely on uh, ferret biscuits that they promote. Um, it's no good for the health, the, uh, they get no benefit from that because you can't substitute real meat. No on earth can substitute meat, especially uh, for the ferrets because you can't give them fish, you can't give them, oh, that's got massive amounts of oil in. So, so the feeding them biscuits is a no, no, you need to give them fresh meats. You'll never see me feeding mine fresh meats because I give them chicken, which tend to be um, yearling cocks, so I tend not to show that.
See, these feeders have only been out two weeks, and uh, I don't know if you can see, but they are already ringing. give everyone some feed get them away get them in bed for the night looks like they're all all right evening chores now time to get evening chores on let's get um everybody in it's pretty easy really everybody in everybody in Right, that's evening chores done. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more. Cheers folks. <laughs>